Hi, I'm Lynn Langett, and in this short screencast, I'm going to take a look at the functionality Amazon announced yesterday on Elastic Beanstalk um, to host .NET applications. So, big announcement yesterday, they uh, are hosting both a SQL Server um, on, uh, on RDS and on um, Elastic Beanstalk uh, .NET. So, I went ahead and tried it out. First, I went to the console here and I just uh, created a couple of, of different versions. So if I click on view running version, this is what you get when you uh, create a version. And when you go to create something, you just say launch new environment, and then you just specify that you want a Windows Server 2008 R2 running IIS 7.5, and then you have some configuration. So you can um, launch your environment. I guess this is more from an admin point here. Um, of course, uh, I'm gonna show you from a developer point. Once you've got your environment, this is the monitoring console, so you can edit your configuration. So here's a here's a, another one I set up, and uh, you have a monitoring little window here, so you can see what what you're using, and then uh, you can edit the configuration here, and it'll show you you know what instance, your security, scaling, how you connect to a database, so on and so forth. So um, this is from the admin side, and of course you can you can run it right here. Um, you can delete, upgrade, so on and so forth. Very similar to what uh, Microsoft has and Google has in their management console. So in addition to this, they have um, a toolkit for Visual Studio, and I went ahead and downloaded the new version. Nice to see that I didn't have to uninstall the one that I had. So it gives you the SDK, an Explorer, and the deployment uh, tool. So I tried that out and it went pretty good. So there is some documentation, but I really didn't even need to read it. I just kind of glanced through it really quick like to see if I could make sense of how, how to work with it. They suggest that you use a, a sample project. Um, uh, they say Nerd Bio, which is on CodePlex, but I just took a default project. And this is the this is the database on RDS. In case you hadn't seen that, I did a different video on that yesterday. So the big announcement is that uh, RDS hosts a SQL Server 2008 Express all the way up to Enterprise and they will be supporting 2012. And I showed how to set that up yesterday. Alright, so I'm going to switch over to Visual Studio and I created a ASP.NET project and then uh, what you get um, once you install the toolkit is if you just right click right here and I've already published it up once just to um, try it out is uh, you get a publish to AWS and then you get a republish um, so if you make a change, you can just republish it. So um, I'm, I've already published it once, so I'm going to actually, uh, well, I guess I'll just go through and show you. So if I say publish to AWS, it's going to say redeploy, so I can do a load balanced or a single instance, and then the region and all that good stuff. And then it's querying out for my properties from the config file, so it supports .NET 4.0 or .NET 2.0, 32-bit apps if you want. You put in your credentials here, and then uh, you redeploy it. So what the deploy looks like when you're done um, is this, when you have a successful deploy. So this is a successful deploy, and it warns you that it did create an EC2 instance and says, hey, you know, you're going to get billed for this. Um, and it shows you, uh, you know, how that, how that works. And then the way that that looks is just your standard uh, ASP.NET application. But of course, it's running on an EC2 instance and you're uh, managing it through Visual Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and pause, make a change, and redeploy, and, and see how that works. When you click the Republish, you get this uh, Republish dialog, and then you just click Deploy. So that worked great. Uh, the redeploy uh, happened instantly, no problem. I made a few text changes to the app here, and then just going back to Visual Studio to finish up, going through what you see inside of the, the uh, dialog uh, box here. You got your events, you have resources, monitoring, your, uh, your template, parameters, and uh, your outputs. So uh, I'm liking this. This is something that I'm going to be uh, trying out some more. Really exciting to see the support on AWS for uh, .NET and SQL Server. So for more on this and all things data, uh, follow me on Twitter, at Lynn Langett, or go to my blog, uh, www.lynnlangett.com.